closer to home emotional moments at Miami International Airport as people continue to arrive from war torn Israel. And as they arrive, others fly out to Tel Aviv to lend a hand. CBS News Miami's Peter Dench joins us live from MIA with their stories. Peter? Well, Lauren and Elliot, before he boarded a nonstop flight to Tel Aviv, one volunteer told me he felt compelled to help out. Meanwhile, we also caught up with others arriving amid some emotional moments. Shiel Weingart embraces loved ones moments after her flight lands from Israel. It's crazy. Like, I wasn't expecting to be back so soon, but I'm happy to be back and I'm safe. She may not get over seeing the aftermath of the attacks by Hamas. I think it's very traumatic. Like, I've seen so many, like, images like I can like erase from my head and just like hearing from my friends and them crying and like being in bomb shelters, like hearing alarms. It's like really hard, really traumatizing. Weingart has mixed feelings though about being back in South Florida. And I was in seminary, which is a gap year in Israel for nine months. Um, but I'm sad that I had to leave to come back home. Like, I don't think it's fair. <laughs> Others like Ben Chortikar are overjoyed, embracing his wife and two children, who he was finally able to get flights for. From last Sunday, I'm trying to get my wife and the two babies out. I just keep trying every day, every day, every day, till I found the spot, a seat. And as they arrive, Michael Baton of Miami heads to Israel as a volunteer. They need the help. And we have to show that we're there for them and uh, what they're going through is horrible. And we have to show them that we're here and, uh, and we're here to stay. If we don't do it, then who will? Israeli native Natty Schnittman, a Miami resident, created America for Israel to ship supplies to that country. We've kind of uh, gained uh, over a thousand volunteers and millions of dollars in donations. And we're just sending out uh, pallets of uh, equipment to Israel and whatever we need to get faster, we're sending them sh uh, in suitcases. Schnittman is mostly helping Israeli soldiers with supplies. We made an arrangement with the airlines. We made lists of, uh, of items from the soldiers. And we have warehouses here, warehouses in Israel. Schnittman moved to Miami in 2005. He says his wife and three children still live there and his cousins are in the military. He founded America for Israel in just one day and even has his own website. We are live at Miami International Airport. Peter Danch, CBS News, Miami. Peter, thank you. Our team